The Fassi Duval Telescopic IM System by Pega Medical. The nail that grows with your patient. The gold standard in treatment of osteogenesis imperfecta, congenital tibial pseudoarthrosis, skeletal dysplasias. Specifications and advantages. Telescopic design reduces reoperation rate. Available in diameters ranging from 3.2 to 6.4 millimeters. Threaded head designed to reduce risk of implant migration. Distal fixation available is shorter long thread and pinhole. Indicated to treat fractures and deformities of the femur, tibia, and humerus. Pre-op plan. The open osteotomy technique will be described. For percutaneous approach, please consult the surgical technique guide. Diameter considerations. Selection of the nail diameter is based on the size of the isthmus of the medullary canal. Length considerations. The nail is cut intraoperatively based on the length of the rectified bone. Thread type. The choice of L, long, S, short, or LON series, which defines the length of the distal thread or non-threaded fixation, should be based on the height of the distal epiphysis as measured from AP X-ray film. Open osteotomy technique. Osteotomy. Through a classic posterolateral approach, the femur is exposed subperiosteally. Subsequently, the first osteotomy is executed under C-arm guidance. Reaming. Reaming of the proximal fragment is done retrograde over a guide wire up to the greater trochanter. The intermediate and distal fragments are prepared in the same fashion. Male component assembly. The male component is inserted retrograde from the osteotomy through the proximal fragment. An incision is made at the buttock to allow the extremity of the implant to exit proximally. The male driver is then introduced over the male component. The wings of the male solid nail are fitted into the male driver slot. To lock the male implant, simply rotate the eccentric ring to the lock position. Male component insertion. The male solid nail is pushed distally after reduction of the osteotomy and screwed into the distal epiphysis. Verify under fluoroscope that the distal thread is positioned beyond the growth plate Otherwise, normal growth may be affected. Optimal position of the male solid nail on the distal femoral epiphysis is achieved by centering the distal tip on both the anteroposterior and the lateral views. Male driver removal. Unlock the male by rotating the eccentric ring to the unlock position before removing the male driver. Removal of the male driver is done with the assistance of the push rod PSR 100 to reduce pull-out forces on the nail fixation while the driver is pulled back. Female cutting. The female component is now cut to the required size. The implant can be overlaid on the patient's leg to establish the required implant length. The female component is cut using the FC cutting jig and diamond cutting disc mounted on a high-speed rotary tool. After cutting, a deburring tool is used to clean the inside lumen. Female component insertion. The female component is screwed into the greater trochanter using the female driver. The threaded portion of the female head should be inserted in bone at least one to two threads, whereas the non-threaded part of the female head should be left within the non-ossified part of the greater trochanter. Male cutter assembly. The male cutter is assembled using the inner and outer sleeve corresponding to the implant size. Male component cutting. The male component is cut with the male cutter MC200, making sure not to bend the male component in the process. The smoothness of the cut end of the male is checked with the probe of appropriate size. Note, for the tibia and humerus, it is recommended to pre-cut the male components prior to insertion. The male component should span from distal epiphysis to proximal epiphysis without sticking out of the bone. This will prevent any part of the nail being in the articular space.